If ski resorts will watch brands, French edition. And you know what that means. If this video has a good response, then we'll do other countries. This is between 150 days of winter. You get this view. It's been an incredible day. Thank you all for everybody. So I'm going to try and match certain watch brands to ski resorts that have the same style. Before I start, and of course I'm sure this is going to be very contentious, I'm already going to say that the Holy Trinity are not going to be in this list. There's not going to be any APs, there's not going to be a Patek Philippe, and there's not going to be any Vacheron either. Uh, trust me, the, you'll find out when I do the list why I've done this, but you know what, if we do a Swiss edition, I can pretty guarantee you they'll be in that one. Not because they're Swiss, but just, okay. Already, you can see the problems that I'm getting into. Now, before we get into this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I need a new M2 MacBook Pro. So start off 2023 by watching some of my videos and of course, watching the ads as well. Okay, and of course, getting my ego past that uh, 2000 uh, uh, subscriber mark. Of course, one final thing, please do not take this video seriously. It's just me trying a little bit of comedy. But you know what? If I slag off your favorite resort or watch brand by that, by that means, feel free to make your point in the comments down below. I look forward to reading them. So why don't we start the list? I'm going to first start off with Alpe d'Huez. Alpe d'Huez, given its proximity to another resort, I'm going to give this one a more upmarket brand than its neighbour. And so I'm going to go for Grand Seiko for this. It's trying to be a bit more upmarket, but it still has that word Seiko in the name. Avoriaz. Avoriaz, I'm going to pick Longines. Now, back in the 60s, Avoriaz was once known as the Saint-Tropez de Neige. Okay, it was a very stylish um, resort. Of course, it is. Uh, it has lost th that um, pull, so to speak, and is now just a more standard resort. And likewise, again, before Longines was taken over by the Swatch Group in the 80s, uh, I believe it was a, uh, a a very stylish, like cachet was a lot more than what it is now. Le Grave. I'm going to say, of course, we've already heard from Up Duez, its neighbour. So I'm going to say for Le Grave, I'm going to say Seiko. OK, you might have heard about this little resort from such films as P-Tex Licent Duct Tape, where they called it Valley X. It is an incredibly uh, extreme and small resort. There's one lift there. Yeah. And it's I think it is all off piste. You have to have a guide, etc. It's a classic place. Don't get me wrong. OK. I'm going to say uh, Seiko is still uh, very cool. Um, I'm going to say the resort is incredibly cool. Dangerous, but still very cool. OK, again, Seiko, nothing flash, cheap, reliable. Um, if you wear a Seiko, you're not taking your life into your hands. Chamonix. So you might think I might have I might have taken the easy route and chosen Mont Blanc. Of course, Chamonix Resort is on the French side of Mont Blanc. And yes, the people that make pens also make watches. Uh, of course, I'm going to go with Tudor, uh, the sister brand of Rolex. And I think it's an almost perfect fit for Chamonix. It's not just the snowflake hand on the watch face, um, but it's a more affordable, hard wearing, and I think it's a good match for the more extreme lifestyles of Chamonix. Of course, Courchevel, my hometown. I'm going to say, if you ask anyone who ran Courchevel which watch brand they like to be, I can guarantee you almost 100% that they would say Rolex. Hell, they even converted their old tourist office to be a Rolex AP. Courchevel so wants to be Rolex, but it ends up being Hublot. <laughs> Hublot, if you didn't know, it's an overpriced fashion brand. I, I'm nothing wrong with that. I'm just going to state, that in my opinion, that's what it is. I, even though I love that, I cannot deny the comparison. Isla du Mille. I'm going to match it to Swatch. Now, I'm not referring to the entire, the behemoth that is the entire Swatch group, just the individual little Swatch watches. This little resort is just a stone's throw away from Nice on the south coast of France. It's cheap, 
cheerful and and it hasn't changed since I skied there back in the mid 70s, which is weird in so many ways. It's a bunch of apartment blocks with the cow club outside, things I still remember. And I know that Swatch didn't start until the early 80s, but however, the, uh, the, the this iconic little uh, timepiece, of course, has its style and form factor has stayed the same ever since. Le Plan, I'm gonna match this up with Tag Heuer. Le Plan is the home of French bobsledding. Uh, the, the track, which is open to the public, is amazing. Thoroughly recommend it. But that's for another video. Slightly more market, but like Tag Heuer before the tag took over. Those who understand watches will understand. Uh, unfortunately, most tags are worn nowadays by brand ambassadors. Le Rosier. For Le Rosier, I'm going to pick Panerai as a quiet conservative resort. It borders Italy and you can actually see from Le Rosier over to La Tuile. Uh, great pizza there, by the way. Again, another video. Uh, Panerai, which is a Swiss brand, is uh, highly linked to the Italian Navy. And of course, that is as tenuous a link as I can make. That, of course, as well. And Panerai, the design is very conservative and uh, again, rather like the resort. Lazark. I'm matching this up with Omega. Lazark used to be the home of French speed skiing. And I think the Omega Speedmaster brand uh, is a perfect match. And no, I haven't just chosen because both words have the words speed in them. I think uh, generally the style of it, uh, of those two uh, match very well. Le Minuire. I'm sorry, Limonwear, but if you know Limonwear, you know it's a mass of ugly apartment block. I would go as far to say it's the most ugliest resort in the Three Valleys. So you would think that I would go and choose an ugly watch brand. So, but surprisingly, watch brands don't like to make ugly watches. Well, not intentionally, at least. Okay, except one, Invicta. So if they aren't copying other people's brand styles, they're making large ugly cheap watches perfect match to lemon wear i'm sorry saint martin de belleville okay i'm going to match this with citizen uh, i know the citizen group encompasses a huge range of watches we're going to just stick with the the classic citizen watch here nothing flashy quiet unassuming cheap and cheerful just like this like cute little village in the three valleys. Mejev. This is going to be a good one. Mejev is always compared to Courcheval. Number of five-star hotels, Michelin stars. And it gets so tiresome. I could have gone with a brand like Richard Mille that makes some of the most expensive watches in the world. However, as a member of Courcheval, I'm going to say Mejev has a, a style that is synonymous with Rolex. It's old money. If only just to piss Courcheval off, I'm going to give them Rolex. Maribel, I'm going to match with a brand called Bremont. Um, now, I could have easily, again, gone with a brand called Alpina. Of course, uh, the uh, lift company in Maribel is, uh, is called Alpina, but that would be a little bit too easy. Instead, what better than a resort that's full of uh, English than Bremont, one of the very best British watch brands. saint -Foy. I'm going to match this up with a brand called FP Jeune. What, okay, what better match than a resort that goes under the radar than a watch that is relatively newcomer to the industry and I think is a hidden gem. Teen. Who am I going to match with Teen? Of course, what would you match with Teen? Of course, a Casio, more specifically a Casio G-Shock. So as a resort, Teen really doesn't give a shit about fashion. It's all about them it's all about the sport for them and it's all about having a sports watch that will handle almost any conditions and anyone who has a g-shock knows that they are almost indestructible and of course as nico would say gazio is god dear will always be god dear and i couldn't agree more val d'azer i'm going to match up with blancpain as teen's snooty neighbor i think blancpain is the perfect opposite to teen and again, this wasn't my first choice, and I had to some juggle some brands around from other resorts. Um, trust me, Blanc Pie is definite upgrade from the first choice that I had for Val d'Isère. But again, very old, expensive, 
and complicated. And of course, finally, we have Valteren. Of course, at the moment, Valteren is celebrating its 50th anniversary, which isn't very old for a ski resort, but anyway, anyway, they of course have uh, matched with a watch brand called Alpina uh, to make a special watch for the occasion. Not very exciting, pretty safe choice as it's part of the citizen group, like uh, St. Martin de Belleville is just down the uh, valley. Again, you got the link there as well. So there you have it, French ski resorts and watch brands. I'm sure, I'm not gonna say if you disagree with me, I'm sure you do disagree with me, but this is my list. Pop it down below, let me know what you think. And on that note, I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.